good morning vlog feels like i haven't vlogged in like a month i think it's because i took last week off and i'm actually trying to think the last time that i actually didn't film a vlog in a week i literally think i've uploaded a vlog every single week for well over a year so i think that's probably why i feel like i haven't vlogged okay guys i am just running to get my hair done right now today i'm doing a lot of errands which is kind of fun i always love watching vlogs where girls are running around and doing just like normal girl errands so today i'm going to get my hair done i need to go get my nails done because i picked my nails all off the other day i'm gonna run to cvs i have to get a few things it's been a really busy few days at home because of how busy i am now i feel like i'm not spending as much time at home that i ever have and it's amazing all of the opportunities and things um that i've been given and and you guys know i love to support tommy on the road but i'm really gonna try to like reorganize and just sort of like reprioritize my schedule and time because i always feel like when i'm here i have to run around and do a million things and i feel like i'm always just like packing for the next thing i'm never like fully enjoying home and I just can't forget that the biggest change in my life in my 20s and like the biggest shift in everything and just my happiness and my well-being, that all changed when I moved back home, you know? So I don't know, and also all my people are here. As you guys know, my childhood best friends live close to where I live. I love being close to my mom and dad. But anyways, I'm really excited to look at my whole schedule for the year and just really make sure that I am not spreading myself too thin and just prioritizing the things that make me really happy and being around the people that I trust the most and love the most. Another thing that's been sort of hard for me that I haven't talked about is that you guys know one of my best friends is Olivia. I went to high school with her and we had a high school class of like 15 kids. I had a very unique high school experience, but all of the girls that I went to high school with really feel like and felt like family to me because our graduating class was so small. We were all really close and Olivia and I were particularly close and Olivia actually moved to Connecticut with me when I moved to Connecticut. And then when we opened the office in LA, she went out there. So it's been a weird like six months of not having my best friend here, Olivia, who I like grew up with. Olivia and I have known each other since we were eight. So yeah, just a lot going on now with like the apartment in LA, Florida, Connecticut. Also, I have a really exciting announcement that has to do with my home life. So I'll keep you updated on all of that. Okay, I made it. I brought a big bag of goodies for my hairdresser. I love her so much and I get so many products. So I thought I would surprise her today. Okay, gonna head into my appointment now my queen the dairy boy cup mm -hmm. love my dairy boy cups okay guys we're just doing my roots I'm doing a little gloss and anything else for the people a little bleach and tone a little bleach and tone still keeping it natural and beautiful and soft and effortless Leah is the reason that I am darker now. Hair and our, the reason you have hair and our brown. <laughs> I walked in here when we first started working together. I was a head of extension. Tell them what I first said to you. What did you say? What well, I actually am curious. Get this weave out of your oh, yeah. immediately or I won't touch your hair. <laughs> she was so honest with me. She was like, you are walking, you are a walking ponytail of extensions. Your hair is falling out. It's white. It wasn't giving. No? It wasn't giving. And she's basically slowly transitioned me. What did me. I say about the brand? I said this isn't the brand, honey. No. <laughs> we'll have to bleep that out. You've really made me so much more confident in my own skin. Aw. Uh, yeah. No, but you really started a journey for me where I feel like I'm just like accepting just generally more natural. Like I haven't gotten Botox or filler in like two years. I'm serious. Still giving what it needs to give. <laughs> um, Just got color in my eyes. Anyways, love you. Okay, my hair is done. It, it doesn't look that much different. Just got a gloss. I'm fully planning on going brunette, I think, in the fall, which is not something I ever thought I would say. So yeah, really excited for that. 
So I get my hair done at Mason D. Alexander in Greenwich with Leah. And whenever I come to Greenwich, I always go to Dig In, which is a really, really good lunch spot. It's sort of like sweet green. They have them in New York. They actually don't have them in LA, which I don't really know why. I feel like people in LA would love it. It's my favorite lunch spot. So I'm gonna go run to Dig In, and then I think I'm gonna go run and get my nails done. Okay, so I got two because I'm gonna have a little bit later. They're like two very different bowls, so I always usually get two and then I usually end up eating it like as a snack later. And this is like more Mediterranean and this is like mac and cheese and chicken and broccoli. So good. And then I got this ginger mint lemonade. Okay guys, I'm back home. I just got a bunch of packages while I was gone and I literally got a 200 pound box from Revolve. Every time before I go on vacation, I will do a really big Revolve order with my store credit. So that's what I did. I got two hats from Lack of Color, which I thought were really Nantuckety. Cute. Okay, I got this really cute striped set. I will leave my Revolve favorites for you guys with everything, but I'm gonna go upstairs and pack for my trip right after this. I'm actually leaving to, to go to my friend Emma's bridal shower tomorrow, and it's on the Cape, and the Cape is very close to Nantucket. We actually take the ferry from the Cape, so I might be going a few days earlier now. So I'm gonna go upstairs and start packing, but this is this cute little set. Okay, I was really, really excited about this when I saw this on Revolve. So Miss Sony is on Revolve now. That's a new brand, I think, for Revolve. But I got this set. They're like these tight pants with a matching top. This is the matching top. I also bought pretty much everything from Helsa's, not everything, but a lot from Helsa's new Revolve collection. I got this crochet skirt I thought could be cute for the brewery. Okay, then I got this really cute blue set. It's like a tank, micro shorts. Really cute. This is a part of a set for um, Helsa Studios' new collection. This cardigan and then these little shorts, so it all goes together. Got this long, sheer-ish dress for like a beach dinner vibe from Helsa. I got these linen, really short, high-waisted shorts from Helsa. Got this corset, this really cute little mini beach dress cover-up situation. Has this really cute seashell detail. Also from Helsa, I got the whole set. It's these pants and then a bra and then a top. Here's the matching top. And then here's the bra. Then I got this swimsuit from Missoni, super cute. Then I got this blue handbag, it's like a mini little purse. Got this cute head scarf. Got some hair clips. Got this cute seashell necklace. Then I got these new sunglasses. This is the second hat that I got. I like it a lot. Okay, I need to somehow get all this shit upstairs. I'm really trying to decide if I should go to the bridal shower and come back or just go to Nantucket a few days early. I just really want a little more time at home, but also like Nantucket is, feels like, like an amazing place to be. So it's not like, it's gonna feel like a grind, but I just wanna be here for a second. Okay, hi vlog. I have not picked up my camera. Since earlier, I have been a little bit stressed trying to just get everything done before I go to this bridal shower tomorrow. And we have our first really big home drop tomorrow for American Charm at 10 a.m. Eastern. So I just made a little video about this bedding and um, what it sort of means to me and how special this bedding is to me. Holy shit! <laughs> Anyways, it's not filmed in YouTube format, but I'm gonna play it for you guys. Um, it's probably not gonna be as good quality as this video is, but I just feel like I really summed up 
how I feel about this drop and um, all the things about it. So I'm gonna play that video for you guys. You might have already seen it on TikTok, but I'm gonna play it for you guys again. It's really important to me before this drop tomorrow that I made a little video sort of individually going through what you will receive if you get any of these products. And then I wanna give you guys a little bit of a backstory on why this home drop is so special to me. I'm probably not supposed to play favorites, but I feel like you guys can tell because it is what's on my bed right now. So if you order one of the sheet sets, what comes in it is a fitted sheet, a flat sheet, and two pillowcases. I was very specific when I picked Jersey Knit for our fitted sheet. I started using Jersey Knit when I was in high school, and ever since then I've just been so obsessed with how soft and washed and cozy jersey knit feels when launching this jersey knit it was really important for me to launch in 100 percent cotton when it comes to jersey knits there are a lot of different blends out there of all different types of fabric contents and price points but for us i wanted something really high quality 100 percent cotton and also affordable which is what these sheet sets are this is the floral sheet in blush and then this is in powder blue and then here is our gingham duvet cover this was really the perfect blue color the gingham also has these really cute bow closures and these are all available in twin full queen and king i just sort of can't believe that they're finally dropping tomorrow if you guys didn't know i went to college in manhattan i grew up in vermont and connecticut so when i was picking where i wanted to go to college i was kind of trying to do the opposite of my high school experience i went to high school in vermont and then the opposite of just sort of everything that I knew in the way that I grew up. And I think that that was so important for me. As I got older in New York, I was just realizing that I wasn't really fully happy there because I wasn't really in love with my lifestyle in New York. And then obviously as a creator, that's even more difficult because I'm a lifestyle creator. So my content was really reflective of my lifestyle and I didn't really like my lifestyle. So in turn, I didn't really like any of the content that I was putting out. And I was on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok. Kind of just going through it in my 20s, figuring out who I was, what was gonna make me happy. I am just the biggest believer in that you have to create your own happiness and you have to create your dream life and no one's gonna come and do any of it for you. You are just really responsible for your own happiness and for your own life and destiny. And I took that really seriously and I've always taken that really seriously, but it sort of took me having a few wake up calls in New York, but just generally being kind of unhappy and I think I just got to a point in my mid-20s where I was really ready to leave and the whole time I was living in Manhattan I was always trying to make my apartments feel like an escape from the city really beautiful vintage powdered rugs vintage furniture floral sheets always had flowers trying to emulate something that was not in the city so then when I left Manhattan I decided to move back to my home state I don't live in my hometown. I'm about 45 minutes from my hometown. I wanted to be a little bit closer to Manhattan for work and closer to the airports because I travel so much. But when I moved back to the suburbs and I moved into this house that I'm in, it was literally the best thing that I ever did in my whole life. My life just changed completely overnight. Not only was I just happier, but I was just so much more confident. Just every part of my life flourished because I was just feeding parts of my life that were just genuine and good anytime you are filling your time with being in nature or gardening or cooking or homemaking or romanticizing your own life it is just always a good investment so as i was sort of returning to my roots and starting this new chapter i did get really into sort of decorating this house and just making it feel like super me this is my house it's completely my space so it is sort of feminine and i've just really made it my own I and mean, two years ago when I moved here, I started sampling bedding. And I just started sort of making products that I could eventually maybe one day make available to you guys. And that is just really what this first bedding drop is. I cannot believe that I am so lucky and blessed that I get to have this be a part of my job now. And the fact that I, I just really enjoy being a business owner and creating products that's what i'm most passionate about with my work i love making youtube videos and i love making product and i just love making things that i know that will make i know that make me really happy like these sheets do make me really happy and i know that they will make other people really happy and i think just i want to be influencing and encouraging that 
investing into your space and investing into romanticizing your life is so good for your mental health and it can make you so happy and it's so important to care about the small things and whether it's these sheets or whether it's anything else I think just taking care of yourself and taking care of your space and making it feel beautiful and nice whatever that looks like for you is just never a waste of time so that's why this drop is particularly special to me I just really feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing I love what I do I love these products I believe in them I'm just really excited to be starting this chapter with this brand American Charm I love Dairy Boy and I love the brand and we have so much planned with the brand but I feel like but I don't know I feel like something about making home products is just like the most me thing and it feels so genuine and authentic and this is just really the beginning so thank you guys for listening if you've made it this far and I'm so excited for tomorrow all of these products are going to be available at 10 a.m. tomorrow on dairyboy.com so I will see you guys there by the time this video is up the bedding will already have been dropped so I don't know if it's gonna still be available. Um, I don't know if it's gonna sell out or not. We have a lot of units, so I guess we'll see tomorrow. But there could be some still available by the time you see this video. So they're very, very cute, and they are like my pride and joy. My friend Hallie, who some of you guys probably know, is coming tonight to spend the night here, and then we're going to carpool to Emma's bridal shower in the morning after my drop. So I'm very excited to see Hallie. She's just like the best, the funniest, the best friend, the most loyal, she's just great. So I'm very excited to see her. I have a few other important things that I need to do to prep for Nantucket. I have a photo shoot and some ads to shoot in Nantucket. So I just have some things I need to do before um, I'm like done with my stuff for the night, but I will vlog for you guys in a little bit. Good night. Good night. Are you putting on your jammies? I'm you <laughs> Aww. Are you so excited for the drop tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> baby shower <laughs> no it's definitely not that no. No. we're gonna do our makeup in the car because we're extremely late. late for a very important date but we ate wait what's your first step moisturizer because my skin from the tanning beds is just <laughs> not it guys i've been using this new foundation by yummy skin it, you should use it what is it you should, you should use it yummy skin i use a little bit of the tan color and then i use a color. I'm not the most tan right now I've ever been. I've seen you at your tannest. You have. I wish I was. After Nantucket I'll be. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, I mix a little bit of both. It's a really dewy, pretty foundation. Are you doing your makeup on Snapchat? I am. Mm. I tip my eyes wear twice a week. You what? Tint my eyebrows. Wow. And it like doesn't say. We're really excited tonight. What's the plan? It's we're grilling at Emma's and then we're going out to the bars on the Cape, I think. I've actually never gone out in the Cape. I'm excited. I've only been out in the Cape for Emma's 21st, which was really cute and fun. It was like, Do you know where you went? Chapin's. Chapin's. How long have you known Emma? A really long time. Like longer than I have known Emma, right? Yeah, but I've known you for longer than Emma. Guys, I've known Hallie since... Your dark hair? <laughs> yes. When was that? A long I'm, time Because we were 16. Both, yeah. No, Wait. so we both worked at Salt. Yeah, so you were like 15, 16. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you surprised I'm an influencer? No. It's getting a little bit pale. Why am I doing this on Snap? Oh. I need a glass rosé. I know, I need a cocktail too. Mm. Popping. Wait, we both have a psycho vein. No, like sometimes in pictures I'm like... I like, like can't I'm, laugh in pictures because like I'm constipated. It just looks like I... I don't know. I think I look the same. You look really tan. 
the yummy. Yummy. Wash it in my hair. I look like I just went through a washer and dryer machine. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, vlog. I am in Connecticut now. I got a little bit drunk last night, just a little bit. On my way to the Cape yesterday, I realized that I had to come back to Connecticut um, before I left because I needed to go to the bank and wire money. And um, I'm the only person who could do that for my account, so I had to come back. But my whole family is leaving tomorrow to Nantucket. So I just drove back. Um, to my parents' house, and then I'm gonna stay here tonight at my parents, and I'm gonna go to Nantucket with them tomorrow. So I've sort of been like hungover all day. I went to our local farm market in my hometown, and I got just some stuff to make dinner, and then I brought some stuff um, to eat for snacks tomorrow when we travel to Nantucket, because it's kind of a bit of a travel day. Got some fresh snap peas, green beans, cherries, peaches. They have really good blueberries. I usually do pick your own, but I didn't have time today. Some lemons, garlic, and then I got some stuff to make a salad. So I'm just gonna make a salad now, and I'm gonna wash some of the veggies. I have to say, sugar snap peas and green beans, super underrated in a salad with like a garlic. Lemony dressing. They're really good. I want to show you guys how pretty it is back here in the summer. Oh, hey, they're mean. Oh, so beautiful. There's a bunch of fields back here, and then this property is a bunch of farmland to the left, and then right next to that is a horseback riding school, and then there's a bunch of like nature trails back there. But it's so pretty. Um, obviously, okay, the Olympics, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> the Olympics are coming up and Ralph Lauren sent me some really cute Team USA stuff. Really, really cute. Bad, I love this for America. you. America. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dessert, I'm just having some blueberries from the market. Also guys, this is my favorite TikToker. I'm obsessed with her. She just cooks for her family and her kids. And I love her. And my other favorite of all time. There is no one funnier to me and just more iconic than Brett Monroe. Like I think everything he does and says, first of all, I love how he takes care of his family. He's very family oriented. Um, Seems like he has a lot of good friends, and I just think he's like so fucking iconic. I'm obsessed with his content. It's like papaya orange. See, the sun came up even. We got the hit on the tuna. So happy for you. Huh? I'm so happy for you. Yeah, it was sick. So much fun. When are you leaving for the Olympics? Monday. I thought you were leaving on Friday or Thursday. Okay guys, I am back at my childhood bedroom. I never stay here anymore. It's weird to think that I used to make videos here a lot when I was living here during COVID. But I'm gonna go to bed. I am really, really, really tired. We are heading to Nantucket tomorrow. I am so excited to get to Nantucket. It's just 
such good family time. Like we always have such a good time as a family there and I have a lot of friends that are out there. So really looking forward to Nantucket. I also have a photo shoot planned on Nantucket that I'm really excited about. So I will see you guys there. I love you.